and good morning everyone welcome back to another vlog so i was just about to make my morning coffee and i i saved this tiktok that i saw it's like an at-home recreation of the starbucks brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso which has been my like go-to starbucks drink of choice the past couple months so i figured it'd be fun to uh try the recreation let's do it also i'm gonna link uh the original tiktok in the description if you want to check it out all right so i have my espresso and it says two tablespoons of brown sugar but i'm just gonna do one i'm not super into sweet things so i think that will be plenty then adding some cinnamon ice put the lid on and shake Ooh, look at that foam okay now i just have to top it off with the milk That's really good. <laughs> oh my gosh. That, that's it. That's the Starbucks drink. I would say it tastes just slightly different. I think probably because I'm not using oat milk and oat milk is like a little bit sweeter, just like a little bit of a different taste, but wow. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna enjoy my coffee and then try to put together a really quick breakfast for Grace and I before we head out. She she has a doctor's appointment, but it's gonna be really quick. It's just getting the second dose of her flu vaccine. We're gonna go do that. Steven's gonna come too, which is great because then uh, Steven can drive and I can sit in the back with her on the way home, which I like to do after um, like her vaccines and stuff, just in case she's a little bit sad. So we are back home now. Grace's appointment went off without a hitch and I got grace a new little toy that just got delivered <laughs> do you like it it's a little like pretend play hair salon kit it has like a straightener a little mirror brushes a hair dryer grace is like super into her hairbrush like anytime she's sad if we just give her her hairbrush it like instantly makes her happy and so i thought i would get her this little like pretend hairbrush set and it's just adorable i got it on amazon i'll link it in the description the blow dryer even works gotta blow dry your hair whoa <laughs> <laughs> anyways uh jess is here working up in her office today so i think she's gonna come down here in a minute and we're gonna do a meeting in the living room while grace plays usually i have help from family on tuesdays um but today the family who usually comes wasn't available so it's just me and grace she's gonna hang out with me while i work i'll try to do a little bit more work during her nap too all right we are ready for a meeting hello jess <laughs> all right just got grace down for a nap and heading upstairs i even remembered my glasses i got my water the ipad so i can watch grace on the monitor and just lit a candle up here it smells delicious time to try and get some work done i totally thought that i had a tripod for the vlog up here but i do not it's downstairs so i'll just have to hold the camera while i ramble the old-fashioned way um but i have i don't know probably an hour and a half two hours of editing and video prep that I'd like to do today. And if I can be really like efficient and productive right now and Grace takes a long nap, I could then be done with my like work to-do list for the day, which would be awesome because then I can take Grace to the park. We can go on a little walk and just kind of like turn off work brain for a second my glasses are so dirty hold on camera is currently wedged between my phone on the desk and my desktop computer um but anyways if i can get all my work done now i can kind of like turn off work brain um but that would be really nice and if i want that to happen i should probably stop rambling <laughs> and get to it all right y'all i am thrilled grace slept for an hour and a half and i didn't get everything done but the vast majority so i'm just gonna finish up my stuff uh later tonight after she goes to bed so now we can just chill yeah grace is playing with her little hairbrush set on her mat i'm gonna make us lunch real quick we're just gonna do some pita and hummus with veggies this is like my go-to quick and easy lunch for us yeah it's so good huh so i'm just gonna uh pop some pita in the oven and then uh steam some carrots for grace and i'll just have mine raw we got the hummus also i'm gonna have some of this bitchin sauce with mine i did not know that this was a regional thing i thought everyone had bitchin sauce and i posted about it on instagram and people were like what is bitchin sauce <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so cute. How is it possible to be that cute? <laughs> How is 
it's impossible. All right, so we're actually out of carrots, so I just did broccoli instead. Had enough for me, Grace, and also some leftovers that Grace can have probably tomorrow. So I'll pop these in the fridge and we're ready to eat. I hate to interrupt you playing so well by yourself, but it's time for lunch. All right, Grace on a nice little walk to the park, played for a little bit, uh, gave her a bottle, and then just put her down for her last nap of the day. It's about 3.30. So I'm hoping to get a little bit more work done here, but um, pretty much whenever she wakes up, I think we're gonna head out to a little farmer's market. Depending on what time that is, Steven might be able to come if he is done with work by then. And we also might meet up with Kenzie and her family because they love going to this farmer's market. It's like an every Tuesday kind of thing. And I feel like depending on how today goes, I could see this being like a good regular weekly outing for us. You know, we have to get groceries anyways. And at the farmer's market, it's all outdoors. We get to support more like local businesses. And I feel like it's more fun <laughs> than the grocery store. But that's one of the hard things right now with COVID getting so much worse. It's just kind of, we're, we're like reevaluating what we are comfortable with. This month I was supposed to start a mommy and me class with Grace. We decided to just push that off. We also were supposed to do our first Disney trip with Grace. We were gonna do that at the end of this month for my birthday. Decided to cancel that too, just like too big of a risk. But we're trying to balance like making sure that we're getting Grace out of the house, seeing the world. You know, those kind of experiences are so valuable for her right now developmentally, but also wanting to make sure that we're being safe and responsible. And so just trying to figure out like where we draw those lines. And sometimes it feels really arbitrary. It's just a hard thing to navigate right now. And I'm, I'm constantly wondering if, you know, on one side, am I depriving Grace of these amazing experiences she could be having? And then on the other side, like, or uh, are we going out too much? Are we doing too many things? Are the places that we're going too crowded? I just, I feel like I had just started to, to figure out a comfy spot for us and then, you know, COVID's getting so much worse now. So we're kind of reevaluating. All this to say, we're going to a farmer's market. I think it'll be fun. Hopefully not too crowded and uh, we'll be able to get some groceries for the week. Who's ready for the farmer's market? Say me. Me. Say me. Me. <laughs> me. <laughs> First of all, that was so much fun. <laughs> such a great atmosphere, such a great outing, and uh, it didn't feel too crowded for our comfort zone. Not to mention, I got some fresh veggies for the week. Spinach, broccoli, carrots, avocados. Actually, four avocados, so many, I couldn't hold them in one hand. Um, and then I also got some eggs for Grace, for her omelets. Some locally made cheese. I tried this one as a sample. It's a uh, honey goat cheese, and oh my gosh, was it delicious. So very excited about this and I even bought a shirt. <laughs> I thought this was a really cute shirt It's like a ribbed knit material in this really nice just like neutral kind of like cream oatmeal color And it was thrifted. It was ten bucks I was pleasantly surprised to find a couple things in my size, but yeah, that was so fun <laughs> I did forget my water at home though. So I got very thirsty <laughs> But yeah, I really want to try and do that more often I feel like that was a great outing and literally I was just talking about this yesterday when I was vlogging in the last vlog I feel like the late afternoon noon to evening time is when I usually kind of hit a wall and just find myself being like a little bit lackluster, I guess, just not as like energetic with Grace. And going to this farmer's market was like right in that window. I think we got there at 4.30. So it's like that perfect thing to occupy us in that like kind of slower part of my day. Anyways, I'm just happy. That was just fun. Also super fun to see Kenzie and Harrison and see Grace and Harrison interact with each other. TJ and Harlan were busy tonight, but I think they're gonna come with 
with us next time, which will be really fun. So yeah, I am gonna turn off the vlog. Steven's just about to get Grace in the bath, so I'm gonna go help them out and then get her down and uh, probably try to get some more work done up in the office. Good morning, you guys. I just finished what has to be one of my new favorite Peloton classes. It's the 20 minute 2000s ride with Kendall Tool from January 10th. And oh my gosh, was it just so fun. They finished the ride with Mr. Brightside and I was just, I was jamming out quietly because Grace is sleeping, but jamming nonetheless. <laughs> so today is Wednesday and today Steven's taking a paternity leave day and he's gonna be with Grace while I am filming a main channel video. Actually my first main channel video back for the year. So my original plan for today was that I was gonna work in the morning up until like noon or one and then we we're gonna film in the afternoon from like one to four. But I actually, I just got into a really good work groove last night. Stayed up a little bit later than I planned but I finished all of my computer work which means that my morning is now free. So I scheduled a manicure and I'm very excited because my nails are looking uh, pretty rough here. And I actually had an appointment to get them done last Sunday, but I ended up canceling it just because our day got kind of busy. So now I get to get my nails done. I'm excited. I'm gonna go shower and then, uh, is that Grace waking up? Uh oh, I may have jammed a little bit too hard. <laughs> yeah, looks like Grace is waking up. So actually before I shower, I'm gonna go ahead and make her breakfast. That way Steven can grab her and by the time they make their way out here, her breakfast will be ready and hopefully give them a, a nice easy start to their day. All right, got my new nails, a nice like really neutral pinky beige and short. I always like my nails really, really short. Yay, that was so fun, really relaxing. Also, I used the Denman brush on my hair this morning out of the shower for the first time in probably like a month. And oh my gosh, I forgot what a difference it makes. Like, look at this spiral, look at this curl. I hadn't been using it just because, you know, it takes probably an extra five minutes when I'm getting ready. But dang, I'm, uh, <laughs> I might have to put those extra five minutes back in my hair routine because this looks really nice. I really like the way it looks. All right, I just got ready for filming, put on some light makeup, and I'm just doing the finishing touches to my video outline. I'm doing a brutally honest review of this brand called Cider that I pretty much just get like nonstop TikTok ads for. So I finally placed an order with them. We're gonna do a review, a try on. So like I said, I'm just putting these screenshots of like each item that I ordered in my video outline. That way I know what it's called, what the price was, what size I got it in, all those details. And uh, Kenzie and Jess are here. They're setting up for filming in the studio. So let's get to it. Let's film. My uh, first video back on the main channel for the new year. I'm like weirdly nervous about filming. I don't know why I feel so much more pressure filming on the main channel than on the vlog. Like it just, it's a different feeling for me. And I just, I put a lot of pressure on myself for the main channel that I don't on the vlog. On the vlog, I'm like, if I write if I word things wrong, if I'm like too energetic or not energetic enough, like it doesn't, I, I don't care. It doesn't matter. I'm just gonna be me and however that manifests on camera is totally fine. And I'm trying to get better about it, but it is so hard for me to get in that same mindset for the main channel. I don't know why. Which might be part of the reason that I film a lot more vlogs lately than I do main channel videos. But we're doing it today, so uh, let's go film this video. Hello, hello. <laughs> Just with the thumbnail reminder on the wall. Very much appreciated. That is something I frequently forget. <laughs> the joke's the reminders for me. It's, <laughs> it's the reminder for you to be the reminder for me. That is my job, yes. <laughs> Feels exciting to be back in this room first time in the new year. Also, yes, we have couch cushions on the chair. Two actually, one on the bottom and one on the top of the actual cushion just to make me a bit taller so I line up perfectly with the background. We've got the clothes hung up over here. Everything I am going to be trying on in the main channel video and a new big mirror in the corner. <laughs> Kenzie, I shared the document with you, right? Mm, okay, okay, perfect. Uh, cider review, take one. Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. You guys, that went so 
well. I'm so happy. I feel so good. I don't know if it was like putting my feelings into words on the vlog before we filmed. I think sometimes like talking through things on the vlog helps me to like work through things myself in my own head. Um, but I feel like I didn't overthink things. We just did it and I was just me and I wasn't worrying about too many things. So I'm just, I'm happy. I'm excited. I feel good. <laughs> okay, I just set up the vlog and I realized I'm wearing the same shirt and the camera's in the same position as it was yesterday <laughs> when I was vlogging. But wow, uh, today was such a good day. We wrapped the shoot with so much extra time. We decided to film some TikToks. So we filmed five TikToks, which is great. I love like batch filming TikToks because then I can just post like one every day for basically the next week. It was great. It was fun. It was easy. It is about 4.45 now. Grace is napping. Steven is upstairs taking a little break, playing some video games. And uh, I'm excited to just have some chill family time. Hang out with Grace because I miss her a lot. And also send uh, the footage for the main channel video off to my editor because I did not do that yet. So I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!